Episode 14 of the Jax Podcast. We in another room today. I like this room too. Um, fuck the room before I before I get into the room. Yo, uh, I got my brothers with me, man. This is this is like a, a the the core the, the core of of my my, my childhood friends and um, the, one of the early podcast alum over here, Mr. Javed White <laughs> from the Dreams and Nightmares Alone. days. Um, and, and, but obviously, you know, we got my brother Gary Cowan in the building, yep. as usual. And today we got Jesus back in the building. And um, yo, episode 14. Yo, this shit been going by kind of quick. I'm not even going to lie. Like 14 episodes in, it's just been a blink uh, so far. You said what? Your momentum. Not yet. Nah, hell no. No, we but I mean, we you got get. momentum, so it's rolling. You don't even realize the time is going. We ain't even get. But I, I, I feel what you're saying. We, we ain't get there yet. We ain't get there yet. But um, I just, I just want to throw that out there. Yeah. But today we in a new, new room. Um, I kind of like this room. We've been testing it out. So I guess early, early in the, you know, podcast uh, uh, numbers, right? We we in episode 14. I think these are still the times where we're figuring out certain things. And um, uh, I kind of like this room. Last week uh, we did a. Uh, wasn't David Alexander in another room, big room, nice room too. Uh, I kind of like, I, personally, I don't know, I kind of like this This setting might be a little bit more, just me, somebody might be looking out and seeing, you know, the living room set up kind of like we had last week, but this this is kind of dope, but fellas, what's up, man? How y'all feeling? Not right, much, man. I like the Good. desk, so if I want to come in here with shorts on, nobody can see my knees. <laughs> see, that's yeah, just yeah. sacred, you know what I'm saying? Just don't show your inner thought to anybody, man. He can, play, he can play footsies with me, nobody knows. <laughs> I feel like I thought, I'm at work. Like I got a job the episode, my ankles was out. That's crazy. <laughs> your pants was high? <laughs> that couch was riding up on me. Pants still high. <laughs> still high, but they can't see it. What, what's crazy is that this, uh, this table right here, I thought he was going to say he liked it because... Is, is made out of wood and his pops is like a carpenter. This nigga always making shit look like his pops made it. It needs to be his done. Pops built Noah's, Noah's Ark. <laughs> Yo. I just let y'all know if we needed one, I got mine. <laughs> God, I, I know I'm going to get mine. Family, yeah, man. Mine. Yeah, that's a great guy. God, you know, don't forget about us, though. <laughs> a floating agreement. But son, yeah. yo, back to Greenland. Word, nah, niggas need a plane, man. I keep telling y'all that we need a plane. We need a pilot. First, we need a pilot. We we got nigga can fly planes. Nah, nah, nigga don't go. He gonna hot wire the planes for us to fly. We gonna we gonna break into. I trust my man. I'm yoking the old white man up. He's flying us. I ain't going nowhere. I'm telling you, bro. We live in Florida. I've been telling y'all for a long time. I think it's a game. If something happens here, we fucked. <laughs> We're fucked. There's only one way in and one way out. Niggas better have boats, choppers, planes, all of that. Laugh. Yeah. Remember that, so that hurricane that took you four days to get to Texas? Yo. The hurricane left, came, went back, came back, and he still wasn't in Texas. <laughs> Yo, nah. You know, everything has, the, has like a good and bad. It's just crazy because he's absolutely right. They, one way in, one way out, the state of Florida. But then, like, right now, for example, everybody's moving to Florida. Why? Because the weather is great. There's no uh, state taxes. And it seemed like whoever's running the governor of Florida, like whoever's running for, he don't give a fuck he about don't he, he don't care, care about shit. No mask, no There's nothing. No ma- like, yeah, we were, everybody's People running fight you rampant. To get in your store. Huh? <laughs> you tell them no mask, they try to fight you to get in the store. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, you for real, like, there's no shopping. rules. There, there's no rules out here right now in, in Miami. It's the Wild, wild West. It's the Wild West. Here's the crazy Atlanta's shit. Atlanta's wild. Atlanta's a look wilder, though. Atlanta is kind of no 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 Atlanta's I, Wakanda that's why yeah. that's what he really <laughs> said Atlanta is protected by a dome they club they nah, party Atlanta, Atlanta, you, Atlanta, you, Atlanta, 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 Atlanta. Atlanta. you gotta go Atlanta think of G- everything Jeezy and Gucci hit the club right after versus yeah. fine everything they was really, fine all They're, my friends that live in Atlanta no they never wear masks they in a the club every night they yeah. don't care Atlanta's, Atlanta's <laughs> different though I went to Atlanta during the whole quarantine when it was the first place open mm-hmm. My dumb ass completely forgot the weekend before there was all the Black Lives Matter protests. The whole Peace Street downtown was smashed. I get yeah. there, I'm like, yeah, I'm lit, nigga. Everything's closed. I'm like, why is everything closed? Oh, everything's shit. destroyed. I'm like, oh, that's beautiful. That's awesome. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So <laughs> I literally so, got, I rented a car the next day and drove back to Florida. I didn't even wait for my flight. I'm like, this shit is out of control. I don't want nothing to do with this. Back. Yo, that's crazy. Seriously. I went out there super excited to not wear a mask, bro. I spent one hour, I was like, nah, I'm out of here. I'm gone. 
For real? Yeah, not a, I think two days. So they fought, like day, they, they messed up the whole Peachtree Street. Is what it, Bro, it was all. Remember the whole CNN building that was that shit was yeah, right yeah. across oh, the yeah, street from Midtown. Right, it was right. all right there. You Nothing right. was open. I went to a little hookah lounge with swings on it, and I'm, but I'm not swinging on no fucking swing out of bars. So I'm straight. I was on it. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but I was mad uncomfortable, son. Because you couldn't. If something happened, it was over for you. you hookah on a swing. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know about that. Hookah, son. You know you about that. Be and you, hookah and you was on, on my hookah lap. Hookah on a swing. Son? And Jai was on my lap swinging. That's what it was. <laughs> Bringing back memories. Hookah. <laughs> Yeah, man. He tried, to, he tried to sneak that in real quick. Who go on a swing? Imagine I'm, that. I'm proud you of that. You swinging it and, and blowing in the smoke like this. Yeah. And my feet was crossing and the and everything. And I was like this. Woo. You got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, son. Yo. <laughs> oh, yo, man. You know what's crazy? Yo, you know what's crazy? Fuck you. <laughs> That's crazy. That's what's real crazy. Yo. Yo, listen, man. You got to listen. <laughs> Yo, this YOLO. <laughs> Yo, it's gonna be a good day today, man. It's gonna be a good day. To be uh, real, I, like I was gonna mention it. Javet beat me to it because I, I know I thought I was like might might have been a thing, and I, I didn't want to see like some sexy out. shit. The bar seats were swings. What's so yeah. hard about oh, that? Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, so, you know, I know, was thinking that was I'm thinking you were fucking yeah in Highland, like, like in Highland Park. So that's why you listen to this clown, man. He didn't even let me finish the story. He heard swing and got horny. I mean, down here, down here in Florida has been wide open. Everybody coming down, but like back to what you were saying before, like how everything is a good and bad at everything because mm-hmm. you you could be not in Florida right now and having to be shoveling snow or you know, it, ain't it ain't it crazy too? I feel like when you catch COVID outside of Florida or outside of Atlanta, it, it's it's almost like you in a hospital. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I be people like you know, we from, we all COVID. from New York here, and everybody who we've heard that got COVID in New York, it was like, I don't want to say everybody, but the way their bodies responded to it was not like the way people down here probably have responded to it. Like, I, since, you know what, we're, so right now we're in February 2021. We're pretty much a year into this whole COVID situation. Mm-hmm. Being down here since it started, I, I've heard of people down here in Miami getting COVID. I don't really have like people we know, you know, Passing from that shit, nobody them, dying them, from COVID them, out here. God, thank God, it's like thank punishment. God. They like, damn, I gotta be in the house. But, but I've been hearing like, yo, they, you know how many COVID stories? Is in the heat. <laughs> no, but bro, I've been hearing so many stories. I mean, I'm reading. Now, here's what I think. Here's here's my belief, right? I think that the way of life and maybe the heat has something to do with it. <laughs> up in no, 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 it's not even <laughs> funny. Not for real, for real. Because check this out, right? We down here in Miami, no one we know who's got nice COVID. Stress help you deal with COVID died, better. Like it's died, right? Mm-hmm. But Joe, I know of a handful of people who's like lost their lives up in New York because yeah, of COVID. I have friends and all yeah. and, and we've got here's one thing I heard: vitamin C deficiencies. I heard that the less vitamin C you have, the harder it is for your vitamin D. Excuse vitamin me, D. vitamin D. Excuse me, vitamin D deficiencies. I heard the less vitamin D your body has, it's harder to fight. You know, COVID. Think about it though. So in, New York, good then. in New York, in New York, check this out. In, in New York. It's Gotham City, son. You don't got no sunlight. We all from New York. We we've ne- we were never outside. We didn't take no vitamin D supplements. No. We, 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 it's but all there was no building COVID. shades. The the hell like you know the way of life is super unhealthy. You eating Chinese food or glizzies? Glizzies, right? Yeah. Yeah. Corner yeah. corner glizzies. Yeah, yeah. 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 he said. Hey, those shits is hot. I'm too old. I'm too old. Hey, I'm too old to use glizzies, man. Let me tell you something. No, don't come with that shit over here, man. Yeah, he said he was in New York. I'm gonna be real. He said he was in New York last week talking about. Not last week. I was in New York two months ago. John, I'm, I bought a hot dog, a little a dollar joint off the. Tr- haven't had one in years. I'm excited. I'm eating it. These two little teenagers were about. Look at this glizzy gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I was like, oh shit, they got me. You should have chased them. Nah, I got you. Should have shit out of them. Fuck little knuckleheads. Oh man. I like that nigga. I fucking laughed so hard. I was like, no doubt. They trying to get rid of all food. I heard meatballs call shooters. Trying to date, trying to get meatballs too. That's so. Who's coming up with this shit? It's just a new. It's like our generation is past. This is the new era, son. When we was young, we made up stupid shit too. But meatball, meatballs is fire. We had meatballs this week. Yeah, I know man. you have them all the time. Uh, sure. yeah, I take <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Shooters. Nah, chill, man. So so what you gotta like mash the meatball up now with the food in your in your For real? I'm grown, son. I cut my meatball in half. Man, I don't know. I got it like Asian Asian sauce, twisted in them. I don't even know how to use it. I'm grown, son. I'm not playing that. It's funny, but I'm grown. I'm eating what I want to eat. I don't care. I cut my hot dog up though. I ain't (laughs) That's a shame, son. (laughs) I'm hey. That's a real shame. Hot dog with a fork. It's a it's it's a fucking piece of food, and you cut your hot dog up before you bite. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to break that shit up. You think I'm gonna let somebody else's opinion on what this shit get the fuck out Guarantee of here. Guarantee the next day you, the, the next time you have a hot dog you look left and right. You bugging. You gonna be like, look at me. I'm like nah in New York I will. <laughs> fucking eat that shit with a, with a towel over my head. <laughs> but nah fuck that man. I'm not gonna a hot dog's supposed to be on the go son. You're not breaking it up. You got ketchup money. You know get the why? fuck out of here. You know why? Because when we was younger and we was doing that to the old heads. <laughs> the old heads. Now, you know, what, what was we doing like that to the old heads? I mean, we was nothing. wild stupid back I mean, in the day. Nah, we were not scared of the old heads. Like that, but but up, like, see, but <clears throat> he got a point. It's true. These young kids ain't they really. Don't give a they shit, they really. never really had no big homies. Right. They been homies still young. Like that, that skipped that generation. So. Yeah, that's true. They doing whatever. That's Everything is true. viral. If you see it viral online, viral is the new currency. You Go see find that? it viral. You viral see that white kid that just got killed? For, uh, he was in a parking lot, like doing some prank, prank. with butcher knives with some black kids. Knife. I heard they about that. Yeah, 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 I heard what about that. What are you that. doing? Can't yeah. Do that. Yeah. Cut that For off. Likes? That vir- that you're bugging, son. Now you're dead? What is... What do you expect to happen? Oh, you, you might want to be first. You can't do that shit in Florida and places that have... You can do that shit in New York probably because nobody can Everybody's have a gun. Like, right, but don't right. do that shit down here in Texas, places where it's it's perfectly legal to have a gun. You get mm-hmm. smoked. It's over. You get mm-hmm. nothing from the city. No lawsuits. No nothing. I'm here with that. Yeah. yeah, but you know, like 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 Josh just said, man, people trying to go viral because, and you know, one of the big biggest reasons they trying to go viral is for a check, especially right now. You know what I mean? Seen people out here is huh? The gorilla glue, the girl to put the gorilla glue on here. Yeah, viral. Oh, like, suing the know, company, gorilla glue, suing the hospital. Yeah, but how she gonna? I mean, she, you know, I really hope that she, you know, is able to. Her Instagram is get verified, that. and she but, has a marketing team. But what's crazy is that she, she gonna sue gorilla glue because she can't read? No, because it says do not put on your privates. Cause supposedly she supposedly she put the tape on her, on, her, on her vagina to do like a like to whack. I don't know what it was. I you know, I'm not into that. Yeah. But because it wasn't specifically detailed on the on the private part, that's what she's suing over. Mm-hmm. Nah, Shorty was shooting for the, the hair. Yeah. Nah, nah, no, no, no. This is another, another one. one. Yeah. This is another oh, one. Yeah, I was, this is Shorty you know, with the hair. You speaking about a upgraded level. I, I was hearing about, I was thinking no. about the hair shit. Shorty with the hair that had a GoFundMe that she got to have to get a whole she got a GoFundMe. And her and, account of Instagram is verified, and she has a marketing team. But check this out: the one from the one with her hair, yeah. they did the surgery for free. So, she, so that whole GoFundMe is to the to the to the to pocket, the pocket. twelve for, grand to, for the That's free. What it's about she, son, you trash your name and your image for money. Everybody's selling their soul nowadays. That's what it's about. And it's it, pa- it, a pandemic. You got a Can't gorilla glue. No you got a gorilla glue your beard, bro. You just say it's going to give it a shot. I should cut my bid and sell it to and people. See. That's what mm-hmm. I'm going to start doing because it'll check. grow back quick. Sell it, sell it for people to put up here. Like <laughs> right. Floyd. <laughs> what part? My man Floyd, Floyd came him. back. He back. He He's came back. back. Let me tell you something right now. Back. Yo, I'm with that. <laughs> Yeah, 100%. I'm with nah, but that. Floyd shit Girls fire. Is true. I know, listen, I know, nah, I know he got it from fire. too. Floyd shit look fire. I'm with so that. Even his I'm beard look wild natural. natural. Don't look crazy. Like if you grow your hair back, you got to get a ponytail. You got to go all, you, you got to get like a slick back ponytail. You got to do like Josh. Like, whoever what? did Josh shit, do your shit. <laughs> look at the curls, son. That nigga look like Big Poppy, son. That nigga look Dominican. He, he told me like Missy Elliott, dog. <laughs> Yo, I look at the phone. I was so tight. I was like, damn, he got me. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ain't seen that girl in Mad Long. Like, he shot me one good time. Like, the whole living room laughing. Gary crying. I'm like... He's like beat beat. For the Super Bowl. <laughs> yo, like he got yeah, how oh, sick was Granger though? So he yo, was you like, ain't seen this picture? You ain't seen the video? I mean, picture I sent man. you. I told him he bet he bet me though against the Super Bowl. I'm like, wait, yo. wait, but let's talk about that. Let's talk about that Super Bowl, man. Let's oh yeah, talk about that. The transitioning, Super Bowl. The transition, man, into into the Super Bowl, man. Like before we speak about Granger, yo. All right, 
Tom Brady, man. Goat. Go, 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 yeah, but go, go to which nigga, move, nigga, move, change, man, quick. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no, no, hold on, yeah. Let's get you what, let's get yeah. what you want to talk yeah. about. You don't want to talk about Super Bowl. Let's talk about yeah. Tom Brady being a, a Trump supporter. <laughs> Mike just found that out today. <laughs> Thanks to my videographer. Yeah, all right? but if you would have asked me, I would have told you. Isaac, appreciate that. Hey, but I go, listen, I googled the shit just now. Yeah, and it's the like, shit got you hot. It's, it's kind of no, it's kind of shaky. It's not a hundred percent. Not a hundred percent. It's kind of wait. First, let's get to let's get to the good stuff. Shout out to them. He. he did some crazy shit. He he left New England. Yeah. One season with the with the with the Bucks. Mm-hmm. Got a B a championship. Got mm-hmm. a B a, a, a super a, a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Okay. The only three touchdowns was what? Is A B two the Gronk? And two the Gronk, right? The old heads. So two the Gronk. Um, shout out to them, right? That shout was out. yo and yo. They're they're fucking. I feel like their championship parade today. To go, it's the, the greatest championship parade ever oh, in God. history of championship so, parades. So on a boat. On a boat. They was boat. From a boat on to a boat. They was so hammered, it. too. Smack.com. All of them. They was throwing the Lombardi Gr- Gr- Gronk trophy. Gronk was in his element. Yeah. Brady is too old to handle that. But nah. Gronk was moonwalking on the edge of the boat. You yeah, see him so sliding all over the place. With the like, bull kicks him out on his feet, too. Like <laughs> I think Brady, I think this is the first time he's able. He's been able enjoy to really let loose and right, enjoy yeah. it. Because right. being in that system in New England, you no, know. No, he would have been in fucking snow right now at the, at, in snow Boston. Either. I think that too, Bill you know Belichick is. You oh, yeah, that coach. The coach was drinking beers, too. He was throwing back Bud Lights with his shorts up to here. He was living his life. Grown shorts. You know? Yeah. Bill Belichick, look at Brady. What you doing? None. I think that's part of the reason why he left. <laughs> nah, but even Gronk, Gronk kind of like referenced that a little bit too, why yeah. he left. You know what I'm saying? It was too like militant too over militant. there. Way too, too militant. militant. And over there, now they will look. But that's Way what I know. But, but what I'm saying though is like even with all the championships he's won in New England, bro, he's had the, their championship parade is in snow. Like, yeah. it's cold. Like, what I'm saying is this is not only the first time he's able to like let down with his team, but he's also like really enjoying the win. Right. This nigga is out here yeah, chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So Shorts. Fire. He got his kids on the boat with him yeah. and all this stuff, right? Yeah, you're right. That's, I just, just Think like, about that. He's enjoying this it. shit. They, they literally, the, they did the parade on a on boats. That's what I'm That's saying. That's never happened. Bro. No. But where's Tampa at? Florida. <laughs> Why do you think want to come here, bro? You can't do that. Imagine to being on a boat at the Hudson, son. You come out with three, with six toes, your, your, your foot touch that water. Yo, you know what I read today, too? Behind the meatpacking district, they're going to build a beach. They're trying to create a beach back there. I can see I, that I though. See you that. know, I can see that. I who can is see that. getting in the water to come out with six toes and an arm? Ask everybody who's at La, who's at La Marina. Everybody who's over there. No, little I mean sand. Beach. sand. <laughs> La Marina has beach. sand. Yeah. Top Marina has sand, some bro. Beach tablets in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that little area, that little, little screen, so the, 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 the pollution don't come in. Talk about now they put a little light. They said it's fire now because you could jet ski. Dirty. We went. We grew up in Rockaway Beach. You got that shit. We grew up, we swear with Spice diapers and tires. Lips. That's different though. I'm talking about in that immediate Hudson bum water. Bum. You know what's down there? The, 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 the mob <laughs> collection of bodies is under that right. water, son. Every gun that's been lost is <laughs> under that water, Every son. murder weapon that's never been yeah. found. Yeah. Remember, yeah. The, the yeah. All of Frank Lucas. Is under that water, son. You get the, remember, <laughs> Gary Mann <laughs> pulled out a, 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 a turtle a with, with sprints all over it. It's, it's oh some water God. out there. For real? Listen, man. Master Splinter was down there. I'm not getting no fucking water. I believe in all the movies, man. Let me tell you something. There's a whole world under New York, man. There's an underground grounds world under there the sewage and all that kind of shit. Need, and new york is old them. yeah it it's is old, old ass city it is son. and new york son i love new york we are from new york but new york when you when you move to florida and then go back to new york to visit is when you really notice how disgusting <laughs> and dirty it really is you don't you you really have no idea growing up you it's so you're so oblivious to it that when you move out of out of the state and you come back like this shit is disgusting i can't mm. wait to get back home mm-hmm. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. And that's There's not even an opinion. There's, there's facts. There's and facts part that of the show reason why it's, it's top five it, dirtiest city in the world. Yeah, part, like I found out one of the reasons why it's so dirty. Not like big cities like Chicago and other cities. These cities have alleys. These cities, these blocks have alleys where they throw the garbage. Everything in New York City, the garbage in is piled in the front. Yeah, it's in the front. So you smelling shit, you smelling all that shit. Everything's the wind comes, the rain comes, yeah, that's a why bomb I, rips through the garbage. It's, it's everywhere. That's you know why everybody's saying? running out of New York City, man. I mean, like, think about it. <laughs> My man Steph, he was telling me like. When it was a little bit warm and he was, you know, people were out, able to outside, or what was it, outside dining, like, <laughs> able to eat outside. He was like, yo, it was his birthday, and he's at Tao, downtown. Tao. And he's like, he's outside, sitting down. In front of my time. He said a bum is busting glass across the street, breaking glass on the, on the, on the ground across the street. 
He said a, a lady walking her dog, the dog rubbing by his leg, rubbing by his leg while he having dinner. And you spend it five hundred, five hundred on all the dinner. The dinner price don't change. Yeah. That was bougie. bougie. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, you gotta deal with all that bullshit when you live up up that in you know crazy. New York. New York is cool though. And, and, and it's summer. No, it, it, yeah, it's just like Vegas. As long as you don't go over the bridge, it's undefeated. If you fly in, in, into in the, the airport and you go to Manhattan and you stay there, it's the same as Vegas. You can walk everywhere <laughs> in the summer, but as soon as you go over a bridge, bullshit. Yeah, you that, can't park nowhere. You can't Vegas, drive nowhere. Vegas is but, Vegas is we, different. We, Vegas is like it's, it's an adult playground. You know what I'm saying? Like like everything. People go to Vegas for one thing. No, he's just saying. He's just he's just saying it's it's just like it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. There's just a lot going on stores. Vegas for me, three days in and out. Yeah, I Vegas can't stay in Vegas too long. Man. Yeah, I think I'll become, I'll become a different person. People, the bums you see in Vegas, they stood there too long. I bet you don't even live there. They just yeah. came there, stayed there, was like, they lost, you know they what, lost man? a couple of stimulus checks home. on the black check <laughs> table. That's over for them. You know who Look. I see in Vegas? That's when I was there. What was that dude from, from Instagram that was uh, the weird looking dude that got him? These nuts, what's his name? Wow. Oh, Weldon. 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 He was, no, he's a, Weldon. He was a bum Weldon. in the street. Wealth in the great, matter of fact. Mm -hmm. He was above, you know that, you know the bridge when you're coming over Bally's to get to the other side where Dre's is at? You yeah. know that yeah, bridge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was laying down on that bridge. You, you saw him there? Well, I swear on everything with glasses and everything, sitting down. <clears throat> Homeless. I see Michael Jackson's dad at the White Castle one day at 8 in the morning. I just left Dre's. I went to White Castle's. I'm like, yo, who are these two old bums sitting? They look like, and I look, I'm like, son, that's Michael Jackson's pops. This man love him. I got White up, Castle, bro. Well, you know, I love White Castle. I got up and I look, I'm like, oh shit, that's really him. You see, you see random ass people over there in Vegas, man. But Yo. Yeah, I seen him, so son. J J Joe Jackson was getting chicken rings at 8 in the morning. <laughs> 8 in the morning, lit. <laughs> He probably I, just left uh, Showgirls. What's what's uh, what's what's uh, Floyd's? Floyd's show. Show. What, what, what's the name of Floyd's? Girl, Girl Collection. collection. Girl My collection. <laughs> Yo, back to Tom Brady, though. His wife. We was reading up on something just now. Giselle. So just Giselle's like a... She's Puerto Rican. Yes, she's crazy. A, she's, a, she's a blue. She's, eye. A little, she's a little witch, like yeah, son. If y'all, yo, if y'all, you never seen a job video. Yo, if y'all so, didn't, if y'all yeah. didn't peep the video right before the Super Bowl, you know, Jesus was showing us this little video where they were doing like a a, a Gillette. Um, I, I don't know if it was like just a, like a was like a show. Brady. So Tom yeah. Brady was doing an interview, uh, prior to the Super Bowl this weekend, and he was doing like a. It was like a. I guess, I guess they were trying to, you know, brand like one of these, um, or showcase like a razor for Gillette. So he's right. sitting down, just talking to the audience, about to get, you know, shaved, and he starts talking about that. The 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 interviewer asked him while he's going through all this. You know, is there any like pregame routines that you go through? Rituals, rituals, rituals right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, yeah, uh, you know, my wife she makes a mural and an altar, an altar. Oh, and so the salmon chips make sense then. Oh, yeah. 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 All, all that makes sense. It's kind of crazy. Was, like, I was, I was telling him my home, girl, my home girl Sarah was trying to tell me like me and her always be talking about you know shit that we that we like you know, and she's like, yo, Tom Brady's. I heard that Tom Brady's wife's a witch. I'm like, for like real? Witchcraft. I never heard that. Like witchcraft. I'm like, yeah. that she's a supermodel, you know. But when he explained it, he goes, yeah, she makes a, a, a what is it? A, the ritual is she makes a little idol, some rocks. She makes you wear beads. She puts some drop, but like the whole. And I grew up in that lifestyle. I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican, so I know what brujeria, <laughs> santeria. I used to steal the fucking coins off my grandmother's saints and just watch the glitter, the quarters and fifty cents to go get chips. She's always be like, dude, and you know what She's always like, you go straight to hell, yeah, fucking shut up. Let me get some. Let me get them fucking quarters. Keep putting them on those. Keep putting them on those statues, dummy. <laughs> I don't know son, what the fuck this nigga there. talking See, about. Yeah, I'm telling you, you never been to somebody's house from Korea nah. that has saints. Like, I never really, like, I never really, like I never really paid that shit on mine. Yeah. If I, if I have, I never really they paid it on mine. Yeah. Shit. Like going out, going out of town, stealing the quarters out of the out of the pond. Yeah, son, crazy shit. The little koi fish pond. Girl told me, and I was researching. I'm like, oh shit. And he 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 told he told his wife told him every year he was gonna win a Super Bowl. Every year he wasn't gonna win. You know, and, he, and he's just talking about it like it's normal. I'm like, nah, bro, that's crazy. And then you hear the crowd. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, what? <laughs> yeah, 43, huh? moving around like he's 30. Yeah, doing talking about a lot of stuff. He, he look, he's playing at a high level, son. Oh, a he? high level for 43 years old. Seven chips. To me, that makes sense. If she's doing all that, because I've always believed. Leave, listen, let me tell you something right now. If you give Javed the smallest window to think something is bullshit, um, he's fucking busting through that <laughs> that small little window and running through. Well, we like right now us telling him that Giselle is a witch. He's like, oh fuck, I knew it. All, yeah, I knew all them seven chips are fucking sense. bullshit. Not not it, was, it was when never. We lying. We made that up. We set you up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because I'm up to the whole time. G, I'm like, yo, this man is 43. He got a good diet. All these chips. I'm like, he no got a diet, good diet. Mike, no diet. So it gotta be witchcraft now. Good, son. Nah, I mean, son. He, he got a win. Got a winner's mentality. Like he, he got, but they the witchcraft makes sense. in the backyard <laughs> makes sense. For real, you know what I'm talking about, man. Look at Gary. He know exactly. Look at him. Look at his face. He can't talk about Jamaican it. Jamaican niggas, Jamaican niggas do all that witchcraft remember, shit too. Remember, 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 Nah, you laughing. I'm dead serious. Yeah. He's a sheriff That's somewhere crazy. in some town. He's a real deal, like, a cop. That's funny. Yeah, so but, what's your views on him now, now that you know <clears throat> he might... I don't know, man. I, I, it's, it, it, or it might be what? A supporter. A, a, supporter. A, a which supporter or a Trump supporter? Trump supporter. Trump supporter. What's I worse? don't think he... The Trump supporter is worse. That's a hundred percent. Being 100%. a Trump supporter is way worse. <laughs> way, 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 way worse. Yeah. Way worse, way worse. Trump is the devil, nigga. <laughs> he is the fucking devil. You supporting the devil, bro. Oh, man. Watch, I'm going to have some YouTube trolls on here, too. Anytime oh, I yes, mention Trump boy. on this podcast, which is only like one time I've had comments, ah, what do you mean? Yeah, but you like Biden? Up? Man, shut the fuck up, man. You don't give a fuck shut about up, nobody, bro. none of them. What you got to do is you got to get the candle and then you put some salt in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just shut the fuck <laughs> up. That's what you do. You just shut yeah. the fuck up. I mean, it wouldn't change my view on him success wise. Like, I mean, he's still a winner. He's still Brady. But if that's that, then, know. you know, there's a line drawn. You know what I'm saying? But he's still Brady. Like, I mean, for me, honestly, for me, it kind of it kind of switched my perception a little bit. I'm not going to say that that's the only reason why. What? Are you talking about the, the, the whole witchcraft? witchcraft shit? That makes again. I grew up in that shit, so I see some crazy shit as a kid, bro. Like, yo, he, that, my, hold on, I mean, mind you. Shit, I mean, really and I want you, no, I want you to finish your thought too. But yeah. like, yo, go go Google it. The shit we talk about is like on plain sight in, yeah. on the internet with him. The doing way he's interview. talking about it is crazy. And the way he says he says it. <laughs> that, well, my wife told me, oh, we lucky you married a witch. I'm, you be, be happy. I'm just a good witch. Like, it's, but like he's not bullshitting or hiding it, you know. But but. but See me. I grew up in that in that lifestyle. Growing up Spanish, you know, uh, in that in that era, a lot of people could relate to it. You know, a lot of that stuff. People be like, "Oh, it's real. It's fake." I'm, mean, you know, it's based off your belief system. If you believe in that more, you believe in God, and right. you know, then that's what that's what works. Right, you know. Right. But that shit. If you if if that for me, I'm like, oh shit, that kind of that could kind of sway the eye, bro. That could because if you look back at Brady Subos, there's some miracles that have happened for that motherfucker. That you'd be like, right. that Julian Edelman catch that we watched in your crib that one year, bro. Oh that's my crazy. Oh, what, what about what about the year but with the uh, when he, what was it the Seahawks? The Seahawks. The Seahawks one was yeah. wild. It was crazy. How about being down by but with, to the Falcons? That's what I'm talking about. Like a hundred. Yeah, that was Atlanta. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, son. And then a lot of his Super Bowls. And again, this is just speculation. You know, like conspiracy shit. It, it's is it possible. They could and they can. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but it, it makes me it it more like, oh Lotto. shit. Then, this else, is, this not, is not, really not bugged out. You know, because a lot of people think that successful people like that have to sacrifice something to get to that level. Illuminati. And people that say, oh, oh, you know, you know, if you're Illuminati, there's this a lot of conspiracy crazy shit, right? right? But when you look at some other, when you look at some details, it's like, damn, this shit kind of, it kind of matches up a little bit, Illuminati. you know? Like, there got to be some type of something to it. <laughs> That's just me, the way I like to think, you know what I'm saying? But I'll get to the bottom of it, Mike. I got you. I got my sources. I got the right person here. Yeah. Yeah. Negro definitely find out. I got you. I'll make it happen. You said what? I said that's if you're an athlete, go find your witch. That's crazy. <laughs> so, so Savannah, a witch now? Savannah, Savannah James? Nah, nah. That's true. Remember, nah, we, LeBron, we, LeBron we just eat. made in the Who's in Savannah? The we <laughs> eat, LeBron's we, wife. Remember, we eat yam, yams and shit like that. Right? Nah, she looked like a wholesome lady. Candy yams. Right? There's never been nothing Giselle like. She look like one too. <clears throat> we, yeah, but she's Spanish. Like so. She's Brazilian. Yeah, Spanish she's women, crazy. they 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 got this. What you saying? You can't put it past them, son. I'm just saying, look at our food, man. Candy yams and shit like we built like superheroes, man. Man, y'all eat natural, man. That's yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. from the earth, bro. Everybody but but Tom Brady said he's a vegan. You yeah, know, bro, you never you see his his. He has a thing TB12, a wor whole workout regimen that he has. Mm -hmm. The man works hard, son. There's nothing. You, there's yeah, no he, doubt he, about he that, bro. Hard. He, he eats evident, good. He man. works out like he's you he's know recovery. But it's, it's just it's it's interesting to think about. It's evident where his money goes. Interesting to like think LeBron about too. definitely. What do y'all think? Do y'all do y'all think it's it's more of an achievement to be forty a forty three year old? quarterback winning at that level 
or is it more of a feat to be 37 like LeBron is playing at his level? Which I think is like the harder thing to do. In my opinion, we're we'll going to we'll take turns. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. That's kind of tough, man. Because I mean, I, I honestly want to say, I think Brady, maybe because football is a little bit more dangerous. Like you really putting your life on the line out there. Like one really bad hit could completely end your career. And he's been playing football for how long? He's been twenty years. He's, he's tore ACL and all that stuff, and he's been able to rebound and come back, and he's still winning, playing at his highest levels at forty three years Brady old. Brady tore his ACL. Yeah, he, one year. Yeah, one year he tore his ACL. That's when uh, what was it dude? Not Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, that's right. You're right. You're right. Matt you're right, Castle. Right. Remember yeah. when Matt Castle right, played right, that year? Right, 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 right. Yeah, he, he won. A, I think he won like a, they still went to the playoffs. They won like eleven games without changed him. Changed teams, changed systems, mm-hmm. changed coaches, and he brought his entire winning mentality to a new team that had a bum record the year before mm-hmm. and took them all away. Well, I think, but that's that's different though, because that I, that, I, that, I, that I, I give I give mad respect to. But as far as like, LeBron does that too, if, if, at his age though, and as long as he's played the football, the average career of football is what four years. Right? How long has he been playing? 16, 17 years. No, I'm a, I'm that's a, crazy. Twenty I'm a, years in football is no, not an anomaly. So I, I, I say, I, I say Brady. I say LeBron because um, well, you are a LeBron stan, so yeah, man. He got the LeBron beard too. He just, yeah. he just be dying a gray in the back. Well, I think, yeah, I'm just supporting <laughs> him to get his hairline. Fuck it, <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. No, but, um, um, <laughs> the only and why I would say that in terms of you said the defeat, defeat it's the impact no matter what position he a, per, a player has on a court everybody goes through the same thing right you have to go through the ups the downs bouncing dribbling it's the contact you don't matter if you the point guard or the center this contact mm-hmm. uh, i was saying football there's some people who have a longer I mean, top brady's they they doing a great job protecting him he doesn't have to physically get hit as much as a lebron does I kind of disagree with you, and Brady has pocket presence like I've never seen, son. Anybody could, I seen, look, Mahomes ain't been like that in how he was in the Super Bowl. He wasn't getting rushed like that. I mean, he was getting at the whole season. But you see what happened in the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's, no, that's right. right. I'm, I'm, not, talking about, I'm, I'm not talking about the risk versus the, condi- the versus the defeat. I, yes, he has a, a bigger risk being in that industry to get hurt. But the reality is, he's not. LeBron, no matter what happens, he's still going to have to get contact, no matter what age he gets to, right. which is probably why he has a recovery. So I feel like it gets harder because even if it's not contact, the jumping, the dunking, the shooting, those little hits, they start to play a toll on your body yes. no matter what position I, I you're in. I would agree. You so that's why I would say it might not be as risky because of the contact for sport Brady's in, but the position that he plays makes a big difference. Now, if he was not a quarterback and he was somebody that's out there running and getting hit, then I would say that that person, him mm, being that kind of contact, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's it's, it's all a, a opinion I, based yeah, at yeah, the yeah. end. Because I get what you're saying. In basketball, you playing 87 games a year. In football, you playing 17, 18 games. Yeah, regardless I get of basketball it. years and times, you think about any but, player. But contact in the, in both sports, Joints, you can knees, you, everything you, you can't compare contact in basketball to football and, and vice versa. I will pick Brady. Only because, not because of the team that he went to Tampa Bay, because LeBron's been doing that for years. Right. He's, that's he, what he I'm goes, thinking. That's a different He goes to different teams and, and they become, you know, competitors, you know. But for Brady, for me, for Brady, is that Brady, you're the quarterback. <clears throat> that's the most important position on the field. Right. You're the one that's making the decisions. You're the one that's, you know, that you, you're the one calling the shots, you know. And for that man to... And the best part about Brady is that he's not the most skilled quarterback we've ever seen. He's going to he, – bro, this year he beat Drew Brees, who people say is one of the best. And Rodgers. And Rodgers, the MVP. And, and beat Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. Granted, the defense did a thing too, but still he outshined all of them every game he played. Right. And he's 43. He was the third best quarterback this year. He had the freaking most touchdowns. He played phenomenal. But I say Brady because, Brady, bro, bronze wins to how many chips, Mike? Ten. LeBron's LeBron's been to no, 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 no. He's Nine. been to what? I don't know because I, I don't follow the ball that much. No, I think, I it is think nice. it's yeah, I think ten. It's Actually, won ten. He's four out of ten. LeBron is four out of ten. Yeah, so championships. He, championships. No, four out of ten. He went to the finals ten times. We gonna find out. Okay, go ahead. So look, Brady's been to the, the what eleven times. He's won. He, he's won ten. Th- Brady ten. He won seven. Yeah, he all right eleven times seven. But he's been in the playoffs almost his whole career. Right. Most of those games that he was playing, see basketball. If basketball was one and done, it, the circumstances would probably be a lot different for a lot of champions. 
Football is only one game. You lose, you go home, yeah. bro. So the there's no the game seven. Going, there's right? no game six. Mm -hmm. This agree. man has won games down with less than two minutes on the clock, drives a team with, with, with no timeouts, and wins the game. That's something that's... He's carrying, he's putting the team on his back. Right. That is that's incredible to me. That's just, that's insane, and he's done that consistently at forty three. He's done that. I think you know. I feel like the older you get, the IQ goes up to the wiser you I, get. So that's that. that, 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 yeah, that, that, that that's true as well. And I've seen that with LeBron. But I've when you say the feet, I'm thinking, and then you mentioned age. Now again, without the age, yes, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying what he's done. But when you add age into it, I'm saying shit. Yeah, if he's you, been if you the take final a car, ten times. you buy a car in Florida, you buy a car in New York. And you go drive your truck in fucking New York for five years, and you drive it out here for five years. Go and look at what has more damage. Right. You go and see the wear and tear in that car going through there. Why? Because the ups, the downs, yeah, the condition. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the environment is completely different <laughs> I just got it. than it's going through in Florida. So I just look at it. Like, go out here and jump up and down and touch it, try to jump, dunk. It don't matter if somebody's hitting you or not. Just the usage of the joints and the contact, which is why recovery. And that doesn't mean he's... I, that, that's just what I mean by it. I, I know Brady is in a, in a very high risk injury sport, mm -hmm. but the but role that playing he plays is a quarterback. Smarter, but but the, the IQ is good because I feel like the both of them what they do have in common. Wait, but hey, I, to be I'm different. gonna tell y'all what I think. I'm gonna actually ride with uh, G. I personally believe I think it's harder to do what LeBron has been doing versus Brady. And I will tell you, from my personal opinion, it's because. And I was thinking about this shit over the weekend before we you know came on the podcast. LeBron plays both sides of the, the 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 court. He has to play offense and he has to play defense. And he's running up in the so not so Patrick Mahomes doesn't have to guard Tom Brady and vice versa. Mm -hmm. LeBron has to go guard Kawhi Leonard. He mm -hmm. has to go guard Steph Curry. Which and we'll get to that. You know he. You know exactly. Yeah, you know that's we know he don't. He don't we, we, we can go well, no, subjective. It, well, it's it's not. It's subjective in a sense. Oh, does he really guard that player? But the point is, he had. You have to play defense in the sport of basketball. Right. So yeah, I know you're about to say, well, he doesn't really guard the no, he he does though. Like he has to play now, defense. But I mean the whole <clears> career wasn't like that. You but know what but you're, you're missing the point. The, no, no, the point I, I is that you're, you're saying, the, 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 the I, point I is that saying. he's gotta play both sides. Gotta play both sides. Both, he's running up and down right. on both sides of the of the uh of the court. There's no like layoff for LeBron to sit on the bench and watch his team for 10 minutes at a time because his defense can't get the offense off the field. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think physically, mm -hmm. yes, there's a higher chance of uh, getting Brady getting injured because of how the sport is. But we can all say, you know, physically, it's LeBron has been doing it like he's physically had to be on this court running back and forth. And if you think LeBron is the court, let me let me ask you something. Y'all, y'all think Frank Vogel coached the the fucking Lakers to a championship last year? Hell let's get, no. let's let's get, yeah, right. That was LeBron. No, LeBron. Le, so we talk about quarterback, okay. quarterbacking the you know the, the scenario being a, being like the, the the visionary of the team. That's that's what LeBron does. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Brady does that too, of course. But oh no, I agree. Yeah. I, I, de I definitely think Gary said the I, I definitely that think Brady. Coach that team oh, to the to the Super Bowl 100%. too. So I'm not taking away from that, but it's like no, if you're I, right. you're you know, right. on a physical level, like what if it's, it's harder? Demanding. Right. It's, if yeah. it's harder for LeBron to play at his level for that long versus Brady to play at his level for that long, I'm not trying to take away from Brady, but I definitely think it's harder for LeBron to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, because I, I mean, I, I, like I said, like I said I, I, physically, 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 and there's no right or wrong answer. There's you know what I'm saying? I don't think there's no right or wrong answer. It's opinion based. You know, but what what you're saying is 100 percent right. You it's you play 80 something games minimum a year for for LeBron's never been hurt ever, right? He's Which is crazy, LeBron right? Like, and and, and yeah, then also now check this life. out. Now check this out, right? Football off season, February to September. No, no, camp started in July. Camp's, yeah, camp started in July. All right, yeah, June, for, July, for, June, July. For, for fucking you know the the C string players. Yeah. You, you you think Tom Brady's going in in July? No. But off season for the NBA, it's just like ninety days. I think I think well, a lot of major sports are like that. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like ninety days. Football is now granted, yes, because they need that recovery mm -hmm. for all the pounding that they take. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, Play, playing hey, around. Yo. But uh, but <laughs> but <laughs> but I I think you know just from a physical standpoint, yeah, it's, yeah. it's harder for a Physically basketball it's player. A it's you know what I'm saying, and for LeBron to be doing that shit at, at his level, like yo, LeBron yeah, is I mean, arguably still right now the best player in the NBA. Yeah. Where that's that's mind blowing to me, son. Yeah, that is that's crazy. That man, he plays 
there's no decline in his game. And he's huh? going to win another and ring he's this year. 37, 37 or 36? 30, he's 30. He's 37. He's going to be 37 this year. Bro, that this year's man plays. It's, it's insane. His body. High but, no, it's crazy. Again, no other athlete spends the kind of money he spends on his body and, and how he recovers. Right. Or not. Right? But we got to see if Savannah does, has phone conference calls with Giselle about this. Maybe, son. Maybe you know? he's LeBron's cutting some chicken's heads off in the back, too. You never know, son. <laughs> He got, end, Tom Brady bro. got a picture. Hey, Mike, Tom Brady got a picture under a rock. He got, he has. The offseason for the yeah, NBA is five months, and the NFL is actually six months. Uh, so offseason for the NBA is only five months? I guess I. What, are they are counting playoffs? Playoffs, all yeah, stuff. So that's including playoffs. So think of what. Wait, wait, but let's see. The playoffs finishes normally without this COVID stuff in June. June. July, August. September, oh. October, October the season starts. Yeah, so it's four months. Maybe for teams that don't make the playoffs. Yeah, for teams that don't make the playoffs, yeah, it's longer, yeah, right? It's longer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but, but see, but what I'm saying, probably, yeah. right? Any sport. LeBron and them, like he he ain't he ain't not even not only not missing playoffs, he's going to the deep into the playoffs every year. He was just I was just watching a video with him the other day that he was talking about the yeah about the uh, All Star game. game. Yeah, because they just the had yeah, they right. just had a long season, yeah. right? They got uh, a short break to this new season starting. And now one break that they would have, they want to have an All-Star game. Yeah. Adam so, Silver needs his how coins, you feel about man. That, Mike? He's trying to recoup his coins. I think you, he's, think, you, think, you think that they have the right to, to be mad about an All-Star game? Or you think once they sign that here, contract, it's, it's your job? I, well, see, all right. So I don't think it's about the contract. I think it's, like, about what you, like, come, come on, fam. What you, what you really complaining about? You know what I'm saying? Not yeah. about the contract. I don't I don't want to make it seem like, yo, because mm -hmm. he signed to this contract, he's obligated to do X, Y, and Z. But my thing is, son, you playing basketball, bro. Like, Facts. come come on, man. Like, let's really look they, at it. Like, they're, 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 you, they're you, you getting paid you know, hundreds of millions so, of dollars. You playing ball, bro. what I got bro. from it is basically the situation of the pandemic. Like, now you want that, all of the people to fly in. Exactly. Okay. So what okay. That, that, that's that's right. what it was. Oh, it wasn't right. about him having to play. Right. Right. It was more so about the scenario. The scenario. Y'all want everybody to fly to Wakanda now. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. They got to be in the bubble? They're going to be in Atlanta. Okay. So now you got everybody oh, flying in. Right. <laughs> and we over here, like we like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got everybody come. flying in uh -huh. to now be around all of this mixy right. stuff. But mind you, you 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 can't Kyrie can't give what was it? Somebody no, a jersey, jersey swap, yeah, yeah. Swap and you got all these rules yeah, and regulations bam. on right. people that's playing now in the league, but yeah, you want to have an all star I mean, game. Kevin Durant getting pulled out the game and all that stuff and yeah, for right, yeah, that was you somebody contact. So you doing all of that during the season and now want all of us to go to Atlanta. That's a that's a valid argument. That's a super valid argument. That, that, that's what my mom okay. said. Was the slap in the face. Right. Look at what I didn't hear all that. That's some super valid yeah. argument. That was why he said a slap in the face. Look at what you've been doing all right. season, and too. now you want everybody to fly into Atlanta and go to All Star game. That's wild. Like everybody's gonna be partying. People gonna be outside. Right. That's a hazardous condition. I agree. I actually so, agree with Bron. I agree. Yeah, That's I, why he said it's like in the face. I agree. He didn't, he didn't basically say I thought it was just like, him. oh, I don't want to play. It's like. No, 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 no. It was it was nah. the condition. It was like, yo, based on everything that's been happening, it is a slap in the face. Right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, I think. That's where it's at with it. I, I think that's why. I, I I think Darren Fox was the first one to call it stupid. Yeah, he and was. And then everybody just, but it was from that <laughs> perspective. It was, he, you know, getting everybody together. Like, like the NBA is in a, in a space right now where nobody can really go to the games, no fans. And then you're contributing <clears throat> to the pandemic and opposed to trying to get away from it. But Adam Silver needs his coin, man. I mean, that, 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 that's what the league is about. And like Nigro said, mm -hmm. the contract, like they got to recoup. They, 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 I don't know if right. they're losing yeah, money or losing whatever the yeah. case may be, but he needs his coin. I mean, but that goes, that goes to a lot. A shit right now, you know what I'm saying? We in a, we're in a. I heard it yesterday. I was listening to shout out to uh, Rashad from Earn Your Leisure. I was listening to his um, uh, Market Mondays yesterday, and he had a gentleman named John Henry on there. Who's who, whoa? That, you know, that dude is homie. Fire. Is, I, just watched, I, watched, I watched that today too. He's different. With Luke. John Henry that with Loop, right? Loop, yes, the insurance, the insurance company. Wow, that different. Was fire. He's like 28 years old, too. Bro, he's like young. He's from Harlem, the dude. Yes. I was, yes, I watched the whole thing. Different. So shout out to you, fam. Um, I, I, I heard you speak yesterday, and I was I was blown away. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of you right now. But, um, yo, they were, they were talking about uh, what John Henry specifically said. He was like, yo, 2020 is like a pivotal. It, it's like a, there's nobody has like a playbook 
on how to deal with 20. No one has ever experienced the shit that we're dealing with mm-hmm. right now from a business standpoint. He goes, and he said, he's like, yo, I, I'm not trying to be blasphemous, but it's like, you know, we have, you know, like AD, you know what I'm saying? Anno Domini with, with years. And then you have like after, uh, before Christ, he's like, yo, this, this is after COVID. You know what I'm saying? Right. No one has no playbook to say how things are going to work or move. Like, you know, the NBA, a multi-billion dollar industry. Who would have ever thought they would be trying to f- figure out how we going to get these coins how we gonna penny pinch because mm-hmm. yo the world is different man it is man the world is, is a different place what you hear about john henry no i watched i watched <clears> the, <throat> the, the interview and oh I yeah was, yeah and then i was, I was on his page and i was looking at a couple other things yo, they were talking about the different. dude is super smart his energy is crazy crazy, crazy. and his his the, like his knowledge of what he's talking about was insane because i didn't like he's talking about the percentage of what of uh what you get when you you know so pretty much say let's say you your net worth of the company you bring in is ten million, the depending industry, the industry you're in they pay you three times six times thirteen times yeah that shit was that shit blew my mind because he's an insurance he's right he said his thing is thirteen times more so let's say if his his if his net worth that they bring in is ten million a year a company's gonna pay thirteen times ten and that's what they're gonna offer you for that company right he was saying well if you're in a art of AI artificial intelligence they go twenty five times what your annual uh, thing is so let's say your company bought in 20 million you're an AI company they're gonna do they're gonna times that times 25 that's the standard to buy out these companies right and people don't really know that that's mm. what happens with, 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 with these businesses with and companies how they get evaluated so they, exactly so they build up these businesses these companies having no idea what's the pay what how to get bought how to get bought out what it costs and it was just it was I mean I want to listen to it again because I didn't understand every single thing but it was super fucking dope dog it was yeah, super yeah. And, and it was a young dude swag and the way he was just like talking about it like he he was so knowledgeable and, he, and when he was selling Rashad he goes I, he goes trust me I know don't even look it up I got it I know every I, like he like this dude's doing yeah, his homework bro yeah John Henry's different yeah check him out if y'all, if y'all listen to this for the first time definitely go you know listen to some, some of his stuff I started following him yesterday on mm-hmm. Instagram but yeah he, he was just talking about how different the world is right now and it's it's important I think for everybody to just realize that we always say that shit you know um, make sure that you got you know, multiple streams of income or make sure that you have, you know, uh, uh, your, your, your opportunities or make sure your eyes are open to different opportunities, things of that nature. Yo, if that's not, that's, that's the, that's probably the most important thing for people to really like grasp and understand in the world we live in today. Shit is different. And it's not going back to what it used to be. No, 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 no. A lot of people are saying, oh, I, I, I want to get back to what I used to be when it should be. I'm, gonna get better I'm gonna improve like this is a, mm-hmm. a point to improve and get better there's no going back to there before. is no going like back said, after COVID no, there's no, no. no before like that's dead right the world is gonna be completely different moving forward it's like 9-11 you know right. like like you know how after 9-11 the, the, the world changed this is very similar to that and I right. think that you we all have to you know not even to sound like you know, scary or anything like that, but you have to treat it like it's a brand new world. You have mm-hmm. to treat, you know, even even with the business that we in, I don't mm-hmm. go too deep into that, but it's like how different we gotta think, you know. Different we gotta move. Different yeah. we gotta move now, and you have to be oh, like, okay, anybody, yo, straight up, anybody who's having a conversation with someone and the conversation with that person that you're having says that, like, yo, I, I can't wait for it to go back to normal. Stop having those conversations with those people. Yeah. Stop having those conversations the with them individuals yeah. because you gonna get back stop, to normal. You gonna be in quicksand yeah. dealing with people like that. Yeah. Oh, there's no. It's like a, you know, it's a line in the sand, like you're saying. I mean, people that say that are gonna they're the ones that's gonna be 15 years from now still waiting, mm-hmm. and everybody else is gonna use this as an opportunity to see. All right, these there's a lot of dumb people that think things are gonna go back to normal. Those are the people that are going to be the people that's going to be purchasing the, the products or the ideas that these per, that these other people, are, you know, are coming up with. Right. There's a lot of ways that people are making money right now. Like I was looking, I'd stay up at late at night and I watch the dumbest, you know, things like about just simple things. And man, these people are from just from what people are making off of just hand sanitizer. Right. It's insane, bro. This no, one it's dude crazy. Turned, uh, turned his whole brewing. He had a, like a, a beer company that he made. He turned his warehouse. He said, "Fuck it." He t- that was his passion for ten years. He he. Shut it down, made it a, a factory to make hand sanitizer. When COVID first hit, the dudes made over 30 million. Like, it's, bro, it's insane the kind of money that mm-hmm. these people are making. But it's, you know, it takes that kind of mindset to notice that 
And look at the, what happened now with the stock markets. A lot of people are home more. They have they need more options. And look at what people are doing. They're investing more. The whole thing with GameStop and all of this stuff that's happening. People are you know some people are waking up, and some people are just waiting yeah, for that so extra fourteen hundred. They they waiting for Joe Biden yeah, to send that fourteen hundred. People, people trying to fight what's happening now. Like they, mm -hmm. they, there's a lot of resistance in the world. Like I, I don't want to confirm it's this. Not, oh, I never were in stocks. I never was into this. It's not up to them. Really, that's it's thing. not up. But see, like you it's said, <clears throat> like anybody right. listen if there's any. Random folks that are listening to this and you're of that mindset. Well, I don't need. I don't need to like read. I learn about stocks. I don't gotta really like jump on charts and understand charts. That's well, not I, what I, I do. I, 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 okay. I think because you know me, I'm always into mindset. That was me, and I look at habit a lot. Mm -hmm. Anybody that says that, I read between the lines. People don't like change and they don't like adjustment. Right. Period. So when you say I wanted to go back to what it used to be is. I don't want change. I don't know how to adjust. And because I don't want to adjust, to yeah. I needed to go back so I don't have to change. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's how. That's what they're really saying when they say I wanted to go back. Even The shit was, because then a lot of people feel like, damn, I even have my shit together in the world I've known for so long. I definitely not going to know how to get my shit together in a new world. I spent right. 30 years failing. And now you want me to try and start over, failing another. <laughs> so there's so much shit going in their mind. Some people thought they figured it out. Some people went, went and say, well, you know what? I'm, it's getting better than 2020 hit. And now they got to revamp everything. Some people mm -hmm. launched a successful business literally in 2019. Right. 2020 came. Snatched it. Snatched that shit from them. And now they have to completely adjust. And they looking at it and say, I, I didn't even plan for that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then you got some other people who, like ourselves, we aware. We say... Well, shit, you gotta you gotta change with the times. Where you Man. gotta stay ahead of the curve, or stay ahead of the wave. You know what I'm saying? Or you're gonna get washed away with all this, the new shit that's going on. Yeah. So I'm I just look at that and say, the minds of the people who are thinking it's gonna go back. You are the people who don't like change, and understand that you have to adjust the longer you're here on this earth. If you don't plan on changing or adjusting, then basically whatever you have, you're gonna die with less. Whatever you know, you had now, you will leave with less. You know what's funny? As we're having this having these conversations, a lot of this, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna speak for myself because you know obviously I don't know who y'all speak to on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Like what I'm saying about how people are thinking or possibly thinking, it's a lot of theory I think that I'm using for me mm -hmm. because I sw I swear on every I don't have those conversations. I, if if I find myself entering a conversation with someone like that, that means I don't have a conversation. I don't speak to them on a regular basis. I don't have a relationship with them too much. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um so I'm hoping that a lot of the stuff we're talking about with people not really wanting to open their mind to doing something different, that that's more so mm -hmm. what we think people are acting like. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing. You that's know what I'm saying? What I, that's what I'm seeing like when I see social media and stuff like right. that cuz you know, I'm an <clears throat> introverted person. But when I'm on, on a daily basis, I like Just to be sleep. I like to be by myself. Like, but I like to have a good time. So I don't really have a lot of conversations with people. Period. Unless it's people that's close to me. So, you know, um, I feel how you feel. You know, for me, it's just I feel timing is a big thing, and and being patient. You know, what's what I see a lot of people scrambling, and they want to be the jack of all trades, and they want to be, you know, investor this week. They want to be a, this one this week, a realtor. They want to do a call up in a car wash, have a bakery. You know, and then it's like <laughs> Wait, I get it. It's I, not funny. It's not even no, funny. No, but it's the funny. way you mix but, that but up just now. That was kind of funny. You know, it's so that's random the way people jump to things and I understand it and I understand that there's some people that's probably you know they, they're just trying to figure it out and there's some people that's doing it out of anxiety one thing that I've learned and that through years of reading personal development and doing business and being around certain people like Mike and you guys is that things take time mm -hmm. regardless mm -hmm. nothing's gonna happen overnight right and if you don't and if you're gonna create something and your main purpose only is money and you don't love what you're doing, I'm talking about creating a business, right? And you don't love what you're doing, you're wasting your time. Mm -hmm. Because you're gonna, it's gonna, be, it's gonna take so long for you to get paid what you think is worth your paid, because you're gonna go through so much work, 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 and loss, and loss, and loss, and you gotta see that through. Like the dude that, that the interview was watching, like, you know, it's people don't understand 10 years. If your mindset is not 10 years, if we created a company today, right? And we want, and we had a plan, we have to have the mindset of 10 years. And I think that that's an appropriate mindset. And I think that gives that gives people the, alleviates the anxiety of, you know, 
the pressure of trying to become successful quickly. A lot of people want to become successful really fast, but they don't. That's not. That's not real success. That's temporary shit. Right. We've all. We've all had. It. I know I can speak for myself. So. I've been successful at such a fast pace, and then I've lost that shit all just as fast, mm-hmm. and been on my dick the same as, as fast as I got up. <laughs> but the difference between me, the difference between me and a lot of people is that you know what? I I, I literally took. What I was, what I learned throughout the years, what I've, you know, listened to Mike say, what you guys say, Mike, you know, uh, Ja, Gary, you know, some of our mentors, and I'm okay with weight. I'm okay with timing. I'm okay with years. I'm okay with. I know it's gonna take time. You understand? Right. But a lot of people are not like that. A lot of people just want to get on a bandwagon, like you know, you why you see it every day when you know Bitcoin and stocks, you know. I'm a, you know, I, I've been asking certain people to teach me how to do this shit for years. They don't, but they'll post every day. I'm not mad at them. It's not their job to show me. Let me get my lazy ass in and do it. But you know, it's, it's like, I don't know. I'm not that type of person. I take a while, a long time to commit to something, but when, I, when I'm going to do it, I'm, I'm willing to stick with it for a long time. So I just can't be like, yeah. all right, today I'm going to do this, and then fuck it, don't work, I'm going to quit, I'm going to do this. I just can't do that. I'd rather I have, just chill. I have a lot of conversation with, with, with people that say those things. So, Why? Because these are people that come and ask questions. And coming in I for forget advice. Gary got patience. They're coming in a for lot. advice. They're coming for advice. And, yeah. and, and Gary's not. A, you so, know, but not a I, again, I, they're saying things, and I'm reading between the lines. Because you'll see what, what do they say. They'll Give say me an things example. like um, they ask a question. Man, you think business will go back to this? That's a person saying, right. I'm not winning right now, and I need things to go back to normal so I can start progressing on winning again. Mm-hmm. Because I'm only used to doing things my way. So people ask questions and say, "Man, you ever think things will go back to?" This thing. You ever think this kind of stuff will happen again? When are we going to be able to go outside? You ever think we'll go back to live meetings? Do you think Zoom is going to be the new way of doing business? All that is reading is, I'm having an issue now. Mm -hmm. When do you think it's going to go back to normal? Because now they're trying to be patient. They're trying to think, well, how long do I have to operate with misunderstanding Mm -hmm. or uneducation Mm -hmm. or trying to do something I don't know how to do until things go back to where I can now show what my skill level is. So to me... I'm having those conversations because people are coming asking for advice. Right. And that's what I'm saying. I'm kind of reading between those lines. Even when you listen to family members. And now you're saying everybody's going on this Robin Hood, this Bitcoin and everything. That that kind of anxiety now. And I was like, yo, I got to make a move. I got to get on this Robin Hood shit because everybody is on it. But if you'd, have meant, if you'd have mentioned this shit to people two years ago, mm-hmm. they were going to be the person not picking up the phone call, mm-hmm. being yeah. skeptical. Why? Right. Because most of the people want to... Start things when everybody's doing it. Right. It's, it's that delay. You need everybody to okay it before you do it. Right. Why? That's called reactive. Because you don't want to take the time to yes. learn it when it's not a trend. Mm-hmm. You want to wait for the trend to hit, then right. say, exactly. who can get me in fast and teach me how to do it faster? Mm-hmm. There's people that's been doing that shit. They took two years to learn it, and now they've been ahead of the game. Yeah, facts. You know right. what I'm saying? Facts. But that also comes with skeptical, mm-hmm. being fearful, not taking a risk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All that stuff has a lot to do with why a person does not like adjustment, doesn't like change. They don't want to take the risk of change. They don't want to take the risk of adjustment. They're skeptical about adjustment because what if it doesn't work out? What you're doing right now ain't working out. Mm-hmm. So I always so, feel like, why are we so persistent? We're very persistent in poverty, but then we get skeptical to success. You understand what I'm saying? So for most of these people doing mad shit right now. <laughs> Gary, a rapper. I always told you, know you that. I'm you know, catch <laughs> <laughs> Where the money resides. Yeah. Man, listen. For real, well, people, everybody that's trying to figure out something right now, you should have picked up the fucking phone when people was calling you two, three years ago because they had an idea and a plan to say, let's go learn some shit that can make sure that we are ahead of the curve. Yeah, absolutely. And now your ass is behind and you continuously stay behind because you're only doing the shit that's trending. And then you feel like mm-hmm. you missed the train. And now you're right. all over the place. Yeah. It's like, damn, all right, this train pop. I'm not on it now. Let me jump. I, my, my, my homeboy said, go do this over here. And you're literally basing, basing your business decision off of the highlights of social media. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to give it to you real. The shit that you see on social media is not how business goes. It's not the right. underlying shit. You see the shit. highlights. You see the highlight reel. You don't see nothing else. You, you don't see nothing else. You, you see people recognizing themselves from trying, but you don't know if the trying is working out. And I rec- and I, and I, I tap I tip my heads off to people who say, yeah, I want people to try more. Mm-hmm. But more people are making decisions off of the trial rather than the result. More people are saying, here's what comes with business. No matter what business you're doing, there's some hardships about it. There's right. some behind-the-scenes shit that you got to be prepared for. So I'll tell you this. Everybody's chasing a result. <clears throat> Everything has something hard to do to create that result. Right. 
make sure whatever hard you're, you're planning on taking off is worth your result. Because in network marketing, mm-hmm. we know that there's some shit that is hard to do. Dealing with people, we're in a people it's business. It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Nobody you gotta get to uncomfortable. That, but, but all of that to. is worth going through for the end result. And what happens is some people are trying shit and the heart ain't even worth the end result to them. They don't like to do what they want to do. Mm-hmm. What you can't they, hear, they you try feel, it, man. Right, you know that. This heart ain't worth it, and now they jumping mm-hmm. on somebody else's thing. Right. Goes back to oh, that. Oh, that's right. And they jumping on, and now you become a person chasing hard dick the whole for your whole fucking life. Hello. You know what so, I'm saying? That's it. <laughs> and then you got the OnlyFans. So, so, right. <laughs> Funny, so they ended that way for my man. Real, man. No, it's a faggot. And, what you and, can't and they're, they're, they're trying, but none of them are keeping the end goal in mind. Why are you doing what you're doing? If you only trying to be an entrepreneur, and we said this before, some people only trying to be an entrepreneur because it's a trend. Trendy. Because other it's people hot. are saying why you ain't doing something else, and um, they don't really have a real reason why they want to go out there and change their life. You know what's crazy, Mike? Maybe y'all can relate. I think people that are really in, in their heart that are entrepreneurs. I, I, for me, I don't like telling people, but people are like, what do you do? I don't like saying I'm an entrepreneur because it sounds like you capping, like you just, you know, I, I don't even like saying that to people because it, people, I think people have the miss, they have the, the misunderstood in their mind. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They either think either you're an entrepreneur, so you're really successful. You know what I'm saying? Or you full of shit. Right. You know it's what like I'm saying? saying? Saying I'm a rapper. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no so jokes. It's like, like, you know, it's like oh, I'm you, a rapper. You, you know where you at in your mind, but it's like everybody's like, like you know, a real gangster doesn't promote that they're a real gangster. You know, like a real entrepreneur right. doesn't yeah. pro- promote right. that. Right. Like, like a rapper doesn't promote he's a rapper. Yeah, you exactly. understand what I'm saying? The same, mm-hmm. Somebody doesn't walk around, yeah, I'm a rapper. Yeah. No, it's really just if you're a rapper, you your your music or craft speak for yourself. Speak so you don't really exactly. have to say that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think the only time people going to ask you if you were... What do you do is if they literally just have no idea, right? Yeah, like, literally have no you, idea, exactly. What you, what you have, you know? It's like, what you want to do. It sounds like you're rolling the dice every day. I don't know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Shit's going and it's yeah. funny because people it's... look at you and they be like, you know, they, they, they people, they, I, you get it all the time. They're like, oh my God, they see so much like potential that they have no idea what entrepreneur means. And they think about all the things that you could do to make, to, to be successful, but successful in what way? You know, all right, 70,000 a year successful. Like, no disrespect to anybody that makes that money, but that's, my mind is hasn't thought about that kind of money in years. You understand what I'm saying? It's like I think it about something completely different. You know, and some people get the anxiety because they see you things not happening. They think that an entrepreneur is somebody that's constantly, you know, winning and 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 doing things. Nah, there's people that are busy, broke, doing bullshit. Just got a lot of bullshit going well, on. Well, and I'm they, a, they, you know, well, no, go ahead, go ahead, finish, yeah, finish, you know, go. I'm just not one of those people that's like that, that has to have my schedule packed from 8 a.m. To, to 12 p.m. Just with a bunch of bullshit. I'm going to go meet 15 people at Chip Chipotle to talk the same shit I could do with a five-minute conversation over the phone to I feel like, like I went out and did it, you know? Perception, man. People looking at entrepreneurs people thinking self-perception. an entrepreneur is an industry. You know, it's a lifestyle. It's not an industry. You just don't become an entrepreneur. Now you're in an industry with us. No, it's a lifestyle. It's a way of living. It's like how mm-hmm. you got people who are employees. That's a lifestyle that they choose to work for somebody. And you're going to be working for mad other freaking industries anyway, but... Like you're saying, when you meet a person that says an entrepreneur, in your mind, you might be thinking, oh, this person just trying a bunch of shit. The yeah, only is really working. But, but even that, too. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, here, I'm listening to y'all. I don't really hear that shit neither. Like I've never, I've never heard that. Like I've that's never heard, I've never heard nobody that's say that. Right. That's, that's not hearing. Nobody say that. Exactly. Like, like I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. If you ask somebody, like, I've you, never, you don't I've never actually heard that. Oh, you no, know, what I'm saying? But you don't but see like, people what? on. T- I'm t- we talking yeah, about this yeah, 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 yeah. era that we live in. Remember, yeah. Mike? Nobody right. has conversation belly to belly anymore. So now right. everything is perception. Everything is perception. So now people will post entrepreneur all day long and everything they do and say everything. They will push this entrepreneur thing. That's not. So when you say they're saying it, they're not saying it to you. It's what they're giving off. So let's collect. So let's give some people some direction because um, what we're telling them is what to watch out for. What we're telling them is what to, uh, uh, I guess, perceive themselves when they see some of this stuff that we're talking about on social media, right? So if if we could give us some direction, here's what I'll say. Since we're in a whole new, you know, world, we're in a, we're in a whole new way of being able to provide for yourself. Here's the guidance that I will give anybody who's listening right now. First things first, y- you've got to now make that decision to say, I'm going to do something different. If you hold on, hold on wait, wait, let, let me let me backtrack a little bit. I'm speaking to the people who 
are listening to this right now and they're antsy because they don't like the situation that they're in. There's some people right now that's making a 70,000 mm-hmm. and they think fucking life is great. I'm not yeah. talking to you. I'm not like we're not having a this conversation is not for you. I'm talking to the people who's probably sitting down. They're doing something right now for a a a, a job or or however they're earning their income, but they're not happy with it. They 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 understand that things are different right now. The economy in the world has you know shifted a little bit of how they're making their money, or it's made it's made it now unstable. So what I'll say is this: first and foremost, understand and embrace. We are in a different time. Do not sit and think back and say, or, or, or look back and say, I can't wait for it to go back that way. Yo, listen up. Hang it up. Hang it up. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Wrap it up. That day is long gone. It's done. Ex- receive that. Accept that. Now you're good. R- accept that. Okay? That's one. Now two, make the decision to say, you know what? I'm scanning the internet because that's what we all do. We're all glued to this shit all day. Mm-hmm. What's the one thing that you feel good about when you scan and stop on it? What is it? I don't know. There's so much shit out there right now that people can do. And I'm and let me let me let me backtrack. I'm not even trying to say it's shit because it's not. There's a lot of great things people can do right now. Yeah, yeah for sure. There's a lot of great things. It's just uh, uh, uh it's it's a it's a it's a it's a sea of options. I think right now. But it can be distracting and it can be something that can, it can be things that pull you in many different directions like Gary was mentioning. Or, or, or I think it was Javed, one, one of y'all like getting pulled. One day I want to do this, one day I want to do that, right? Pick one. Just pick one. And the great thing about the times that we're in right now is that you can sit down. Yo, let me tell y'all, man. I've been, I've been at home for the last, I don't know, for a little while now. I feel like I've gone through college in the last 30 days of the stuff that I've been able to learn from either a course that I've taken, Mm -hmm. watching YouTube videos, listening to podcasts, and understanding certain things. Because here's the deal. I need for y'all to know that because of the world that we're living in, information that normally was given through maybe a college course 20 years ago is actually accessible now via the internet because Mm -hmm. that is paying that content producer the provider you Mm -hmm. you understand what i'm saying them giving game us sitting listen we sitting down giving game right now i'm sitting down giving game right now why am i doing that i'm doing this because for one first and foremost and this is from the genuineness of my heart i want somebody to hear this information and say yo Man, I appreciate that. And and this just listening to that podcast, it just drove me to want to go do something different. Mm-hmm. Here's the second reason why I'm doing it, because it's valuable. It's worth something. Right. So I want you all to think about that now when you pick that thing that you want to do. There's so much shit out there for you to pick and choose, hone down on it and get great at it and make that like the thing that you do to earn an income for yourself. So do that understand the past is the past that's not coming back make that decision and pick something that you want to do that feels good to you and number three go and like literally immerse yourself immerse fully in whatever it is because it'll pay off i've seen too many i know too many people who's done exactly what we're talking about you know what i'm saying some of us is right here we've we've been able to immerse ourselves in something but we also understand times change like Things change. So that's really what I would I would love for somebody to get after listening to this is, yo, things change. They always and you have change. to find a way to adjust because if you do not pivot, if you do not adjust, if you don't allow yourself to have that open enough mind to say, damn, you know what? Things ain't going to be the same. And don't take that. That's another thing, too. Saying that for some people, for a lot of people, that's like sad. Fuck. Damn. Like, Perspective is off. Yo, I can't, I can't, you know, I, I can't, I can't make bread the way I used to. I, yo, that's an opportunity. Man, right? Real talk. That's, that's a fucking opportunity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could look at this right now and say, yo, I got more time or my mind is, I got the freedom now to go learn something else. And you probably could be 10 times better at that. Like, yo, I was listening to uh, Master P today, with, again, with Rashad. And uh, Master P was saying, like, yo, things look, you could you could be playing, listen, you could be playing, 
You could be LeBron <laughs> making hundred. Actually, that's a bad example because this nigga's got a billion dollar deal with Nike. Le- forget LeBron. You could be another basketball player who's an all star making tens of millions or now in the NBA hundreds of millions of dollars, right? In their contracts. That time frame window goes. You're now thirty. You're thirty years old. Thirty two years old. No longer with an NBA contract. You still have a long life ahead of you. What are you gonna do now? You can't be 35 and say, yo, you know what? Let me see if I could go play in Germany for a little bit. Okay, cool, play for two more years. Let me see if I could go play now in, in, in China for two more years. Okay, you're 30, 34 now. All right, 35, wrap it up. You can't play no more, right? Because you're, you're not LeBron. You're not spending two mil a year on your body. What do you do now? Oh, well, I got a little, I got a little, a little pad, a little stack. Okay, if you're not investing that money, right? That money's gonna go down through life expenses, right? Or, or, or shit, do I have to invest? You gotta do something else. You gotta figure something else out. You know, Master P was talking about that. When he when he was saying like, yo, he was at the pinnacle of the music game. Pinnacle. Master P can't, he ain't making no records no more right now. Like, it's a, like that time is over. Right. Just because he did that already, that doesn't mean that he could go back and do that shit again right now. No, that time frame is done. He's had it, it's done. What is he doing now? He's an entrepreneur selling rap snacks. He's doing a bunch of different shit too, by the way. Fire, by the way. You had them? The Cardi B shits are fire. Yo, how, where selling. you find these shit at? Where you find the shit at? The hood stores. The hood stores. The hookah spot that. has them. Not yet. <laughs> not seriously. Right. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Right, they going for I'm, it. I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to bring you some next week. You had the noodles? Then. Nah, I don't fuck with noodles. But, but they were talking about they were I, I seen the noodles go into the table in the toilet. I don't, I'm not fucking with noodles. Remember that shit? On t- nah, I'm straight. I, but some of them Cardi B wrap stack chips. I'm not even playing. They that got the Biggie fire. chips, all that. Oh, nah, nah, nah. The bring Cardi B bring joints. Bag of them. Fire. <laughs> they like ch- yo, son. They like cheddar barbecue. Oh my, them shits are. Od crazy. They're the, probably the best chips I've had. They were talking about that. They were saying how you had, you had a bicycle. Yeah. How good are those? How good are those? Though? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, they probably right. Yeah. I'm telling you, dog. Those Yo. shits are fire. So they so they were talking about that, like how they really emphasize on the shit tasting good. They want to taste good, but that's outside the point. The point is, oh, check oh, wait, check this out. We are all. Well, not us here because I haven't tried it yet. I don't think Gary tried it. Have you tried it yet? We haven't tried it yet, but y'all are raving about rap snacks. They good, right? You'd buy it again? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. This is from a rapper that made uh na 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 with that one, which was fucking heat. That was fire, mm-hmm. right? That, that was the shit back in the day. This man went, he had to pivot. He had he had to make he had to do something different because you know he can't make them, he can't be in no rap records forever. Even his son, Romeo, right? Uh, entrepreneur, do, do, doing a bunch of business. No, but I, I'm, I'm a wrap up. But I'm just saying, like, yo, it makes you really open your eyes to say, yo, there's opportunities everywhere. I could go dive deep into that mass speed stuff, but the reality is, man, is that you know we want the average guest to that's that's sitting here listening to this to know, like, don't be afraid of what's going on right now. You have all of the of the uh, 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 ways of being able to get yourself educated enough mm-hmm. right now. To do your thing, you know, to yeah. to find your niche, whatever that is, and and make it make something happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna say, John? What I was gonna ask about that, could you say you said Master P pivot, yeah. Romeo pivot? The average person may hear that and be like, "Well, they're in a position where they can pivot because of the notoriety, because of the money." What do you tell somebody who's not in that position, who doesn't have that notoriety? And and they have to. It makes it takes zero dollars to make a change. Right. It makes it takes no I money. Think, I think people see. Yeah. It. No, it takes, it takes yeah. yeah, for sure. It takes, well, it, it takes zero dollars to make a change because that's Romeo. No, it's what here. About? It's here. They even talk about the yo. They've they've been up and down yeah. and up again and, and down, down again. again. Like right. they've been through. But that's a again. That's a part of the game. That's right. that's life. Like you know, people sometimes don't. They don't factor that in. You know, I want to hear your point, G, but like, that's really, it's like, yo, you don't, people think it's because I guess they, we, we, we so accustomed to job 401k because our parents had that. We want to have that same kind of comfort level. That yeah. shit don't exist. It don't, it don't exist no more. If you want to make a change, you got to make the aware, be aware and understand a change is more than likely needed than make the decision on choosing what you are going to do after that decision is made. But go, but go ahead. People want to go back to not having shit. 
You think they want to go back to you? They want not having shit? It's more comfortable that they're <laughs> they they Here's what I was going to say, man. It's, a lot of times you will see the examples of celebrities doing that pivot, and you think that because they're always on a high, they don't look at Master P as because of his name that he went through a bad season in his life where he had to. They don't know that. I think it was Fat Joe was telling people where he came up millions and, and emptied it out. So when they see it from the outside, they think people are pivoting because they have everything. That's what, they, that, that, that's what I was you know getting at. So the average person could be seeing that. And, you Not know. knowing that, no. A lot of these people lose it all. You just don't know. Why? Mm-hmm. Because they became that brand. So mm-hmm. when you say, "I right, well, you know, they're entrepreneurs, they're businessmen. Right. Try to stop, fo- again, focusing on the word entrepreneurs is the thing. Just I'm just trying to yeah. You become the business. You right. become the businessman who says, I'm the value. So if I could give anybody any advice is become valuable. Make make whatever you touch because of what you've taken in, the knowledge, the things that you've tried and learned lessons from, make that make you more valuable. So anything that you touch now, you become the business person mm-hmm. where a person mm-hmm. will sit down with you and say, I want to do business with you because of who you are. Yep. You know also what industry you're in. I want to do business. Yo, Jaws is a businessman. I want to do business with him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, entrepreneur cool, but be a business person. You know what blocks all that shit? Well, people care everything that we've all said, everything I just said, you know what throws that shit in the garbage and it never it never like it, it, it stops people from actually taking a step into that direction of anything we're talking about? Fear. People caring about what other people, people think. think. That's the that underline stops of everything. Yeah. Everything. Opinion. Because that, too many people this. care about right. what other people think. Let me tell y'all something right now, yo. If there's anybody on earth that don't give a fuck about what anyone thinks. It's your man's right here. And me it's a lot right of us right here. I, look, let me tell you something. I remember I in 2000, that's my gift. 2009. <laughs> that's right. one of my strongest that's, skills. But, and that's, a, that's, a, that's an <clears throat> armor that you need to have. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget 2009. Uh, going into 2010. Um, mm-hmm. Broke. I can't even say living a paycheck to paycheck because I, I didn't even have a paycheck. Right? Um, fine network marketing. And when I started to show people and tell people about it and talk to people about it, yo, they either laughed at the shit. They're not even trying to say, like make this shit sound like a, like a fucking movie documentary. Um, it's, it's, it, it, or oh, excuse me, movie documentary. Or make, make it seem like an after school special. Truth of the matter is, man, it's just like, that's the real shit. I could have sat back like many of us and not, no, excuse me. I could have cared about how people reacted to doing network marketing, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Also, people don't want to be the ones that like take that first step. People want to see others do it. I'll tell y'all something right now. That's another thing. You cannot allow yourself to fall subjective to. You can't sit back and say, and, and you know what? I, I, with the amount of books we've done read and, and, and listening, m- maybe there's not that many people out there who want to be in that leadership role. In, in the sense that I'm not talking about leading people. I'm talking about leading yourself and taking a step in the direction you want to look at other people first to see how it works out for them. Bad idea. It's another bad idea. Yo, I knew nobody in network marketing. I didn't know what the fuck network marketing was. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. No, but no, none of y'all did. Hold on. I signed y'all up and I had no, I had no, I was looking at that black wall right here. I had no guiding light. I had nothing. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Nothing. I had, there was nobody that was sitting and saying, yo, you, you see homie over there who's, who's doing the same shit you about to do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he got the Lambo. He's got all of his, he got mm-hmm. businesses. He's got tax, nothing. No, I didn't have none of that shit. A dream. It was literally that shit makes sense. I'm gonna try it. I still live by that shit today. Mm-hmm. I don't need, and I'm telling y'all this because I want y'all to understand that that's a part of the game. I don't want. I don't want to have to con- always have to follow suit and make a decision based on somebody else's results or not because your results could be completely different. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So take those chances. Don't be the individual who don't want to do something because you're afraid of what somebody thinks or you're afraid of seeing somebody else's result and not 
and thinking that's going to be yours. Yo, you are you. I never, I remember, I think it was the first person I heard this from Steve Harvey, man. It's like, you know, if something is in your mind and you got a feeling about it, it was put there on purpose. Like there's a higher power that's working. And if you feel something, if you think something, it's, it's, it was placed in your brain and your emotions for a reason. Give it a shot. Even if it don't work out, it's probably a lesson that's going to be learned from it. But I, if you sit back and critique and give a option, give opinions and don't do nothing, yo, you are, fu- you're, you're a fucking wait. You're wasting your time. You, you are sitting, literally sitting here wasting your time on earth when you could actually be given some sort of value somewhere or another to yourself fuck to everybody else you you could actually be taking some some action steps towards you being that you that you dream of in your mind that you probably think ain't even real but you're too scared because you worried about what somebody going to think on Instagram if you post one of your businesses who gives a fuck who gives a fuck who cares you know what I'm saying the same the same person who's got that uh, opinion about what you're doing for your business regardless if you're doing good or bad they're not paying for your bills no <laughs> they, they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People are going to think what they're going to think about you, whether you fucked up or not fucked up. If you, you know, it's like what Mike was saying. What you saying, Mike, when you got into the, the business, I'm, I'm pretty safe to say that, you know, we all, I didn't give a shit about business. I had no idea what it was either. I just, we, I'm going to support my man if he feels this passionate about it. Yeah, and I think that's, I think that's the thing that people don't, a lot of people don't have today. That sucks. I feel like a lot of people don't have that kind of, <laughs> Uh, trust of, and, and that type of relationships with friends. I think a lot of people secretly don't want to see a lot of people do better than them. You understand? And don't want to support other people because we were in a business that everybody thought that we're trying to help you and you think that we're mm-hmm. used, that we're trying to use you to help us. You know? And it's just <laughs> right. crazy because you're in a business that you came to all of your mans that, that you fuck with from day one. And not one of them believed the shit that you were saying. And that's when, you know, that's the crazy part about it. It's about opinion because I feel the same way. When I got started with the business, I, I was on house arrest when I seen it. Everybody that I knew made fun of me, but they didn't. They, they, they wouldn't say it in front of my face because they know I slapped the shit out of them. <laughs> but they all, they all try to talk shit behind my back. They all would act like this. And then when I'm not there, talk shit. Then well, the only difference between me and them is that I don't give a fuck what you're saying. What you say don't mean shit to me. What I care about is my loyalty to my man. If he says it's going to work, I believe him. It's going to work. And when it started working, all those people that said no eventually ended up saying yes. And, you know, shit happened the way it happened. But the funny part is now all of a sudden you're the man to these people because you have something to offer them. And as soon as things change, you don't have nothing to offer them. They go back to feeling how they used to feel. Now you come back again later on down the road with another opportunity. Now they think that you, you're the same person that you was before you got successful. Now they, they now they missing the boat again. Right. You understand? Mm-hmm. Because again, because of what more Mike's saying, right. because what their, their, their mindset, what their opinions are. And what they what they care about if they care too much about what other people think are oh, you gonna do something like that again or you what that how to work out for you the first time bro who's telling you that mm-hmm. look at who's telling you that well, I learned through you guys mm-hmm. you buy someone's opinion you buy their lifestyle if you're listening to you're not gonna go to the gym and get freaking and, and I'm not I'm overweight I'm not gonna teach you how to get get in shape and eat better mm-hmm. I eat like shit. You understand what I'm saying? Cardi B snacks. Yeah, that's like Ja telling you how to you do push-ups. Ja can only give you a good 15, 20. You know what I'm saying? Nah, ja, ja can give you a good 30. But nah, man, my thing is to people, listen, man, don't let nobody else tell you shit, man. People are going to always put their fears and their doubts and their insecurities into your dreams and your beliefs. Don't buy that shit. Don't listen to that shit, man. That's just all bullshit, bro. Everybody that made it has believed in themselves and, and ignored everything else, man, so... Gone. That's the that's that's He's like that's that's my motherfucking dog right, right there. You know you know I, I read fuck with Elon son. Yeah, He's I, I, right I read there, I read Elon's book back in 2017. It was a book that was written about him. It yeah. wasn't his book, yo. And it just it made me like respect. You, you want to talk about vision? And hold on, vision and having guts like a 300 Spartan balls like that's not his, his sack is that, like this big son <laughs> tell you this man the, 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 the what's the name the sumo wrestler <laughs> the mean he ain't kicked and there's nothing to be shit that's Elon e- Elon man to go from a college student partnering up with his homies creating PayPal selling PayPal got fired from as the CEO of PayPal right and, and but then and then getting the money after yeah. all that was said and done, 
dumping all of it into SpaceX and Tesla. And borrow money to pay rent. Going broke, mm-hmm. doing that. Richest man in the world today. He, who, like, okay, who was he saying, I got, I got to do X, Y, and Z yeah. because they did this first and I'm going to follow suit. Maybe there's been some major entrepreneurs like the Rockefellers or Carnegie's out there that he may have been inspired by, but there was no blueprint for how Elon moved. No. He and was, he's on, that's like on the grandest scale. So for y'all listening, you know what I'm saying, out here to, you know, listening to us, yo, t- take some step in, in moving forward in a direction that's going to help you positive, man. You ain't got to, you know, go go spend your life savings on an idea. But if you did, see what happens. I'm not telling you to do so, but take risks, take chances. You know what I'm saying? And this is we'll why, go from uh, there, man. I, will, I, uh, I always <clears> say, you know, a lot of people will look at our beginnings and think we had things figured out before we said yes or before we started. Like, we didn't really know shit at all. We, we kind of went and learned along hmm. the way. Um. And then a lot of people was always ask me why we do what I do, I do you know. And this industry is just kind of like an educator for entrepreneurship. It's an education of business. I get prepared us. Yeah, you learn so much things being in network marketing. It's just not, yeah, we get paid. We, it's like getting paid to go to school. On a job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like getting paid to go to school. You learn so much things about other businesses in, in itself. So when are you, if you're sitting there thinking, well, I don't know anything about business, start, start network marketing. You'll learn so much because being involved with it puts you around people who are thinking that. There's not many industries where you can sit down mm-hmm. with the richest person in that industry for, for nothing mm-hmm. and they'll teach you everything. In network marketing, you'll be around a culture of people that's going to say, here's some skills, here's a system, and you get to wow. plug into that and get the education from it, mm-hmm. lifetime-wise. Um, and that's what it was for me. It's like, you know, I, be, I end up being around business people. I end up being around people who learned a lot, and I learned a lot, so... That's what the industry educated me. And now, uh, that's why I say it. I understand being a businessman, not just a network marketer, but a businessman to say anything that I have to do outside of it, I know exactly what it takes mm-hmm. because of what I learned here. So when you're sitting down and you ain't tried shit and you wonder, what do I take a first step? If you just want to learn something. Here's, here's why it's a, great, it's a great tool, right? The reason why network marketing is a great tool is because, you know, most people, you mentioned it. Somebody will get in and say, oh, you're on, uh, you know, I'm only getting in and I'm helping you. Right. That's what somebody would say. I'm getting in and I'm only helping you. The, the person that you sign up with is incentivized to make you money. They're incentivized. The company is incentivized to make you money so that in return, the company grows and you, you're going to obviously earn, earn some income during that process. But it's different than how you've normally been thinking. Your Gary just said I was around people that you know helped me develop my business mindset. You want to know why? They were incentivized to. We were incentivized to do that. Some people see that as, oh well, you're gonna benefit off of me. Off of my stupid fifty dollars. Like I give a fuck. I could have asked to borrow it for you. Mm, I ain't fucking for real. Your <laughs> you, you, you understand? Ten dollars a month. Mm-hmm. It's about helping you do the best you can. Yes, because in return, I'll get something from it. But your, your boss or your manager, you know, at your job, they have no, like, no they, if they try to help you get better, you're going to take their job. They don't want that either. They don't want that. They're never going to help you. Mm-mm. Network marketing helps you get better. The, be- the bigger and better you get, the bigger and better we get. So mm-hmm. we're incentivized to help you. It's a different culture in the in this industry because you're able to learn different things. It's like Gary um, said though, people don't like change. No, nobody likes to change. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to stay the same way. It's like me telling you that is like telling you to put your left shoe on the right foot, put your right shoe on the left foot. Like they don't want to that. It's, it's they they've been living thirty odd years being taught one thing another way, and then it's like, all right, cool. If you want to get, you know, wealthy or whatever case may be, you got to do it this way. I'm going to show you do it another way. Oh, but I didn't learn that in school. I didn't learn that here. Nobody around me. Th- th- that's the excuse I used to get. N- none of my friends, nobody around me will do this. Nobody around me will do it. Nobody's living like this. So it, it all goes back to the environment. Like you said, who you having conversations with, who you plug it into at the same time. So with me, I got started in the business and I had to change my environment of people. You know, I was around a lot of people that didn't even want to hear. None of my friends wanted to even hear the information. Getting up, leaving out of the room before it even started, 
And, you know, I stuck, I stuck through with it because, you know, Mike, Mike, he, he, he didn't chase me. He let it happen on his own organically. Like we, if I wasn't building a business, our relationship didn't change. But with the people that I used to hang around all the time, the relationship did change because I was trying to get something better. So I paid attention to that, you know. So for me, it was just loyalty, you know, it was relationship. And eventually things started to work out. And like Nego said, you become the man. It, I wasn't the man, I, I, I was the lucky one. It went from you doing that stupid thing to, oh, you lucky. He, he just <laughs> wanted the lucky one, the, the, the lucky one that got away with it, but. That's it. Who you plugging into, man? That's it. On that note, take some risk, man. Um, take some risk. Take, take some risk. Do 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 things different because we're living in a different world right now. Try right? things different. Don't be afraid, man. Grow some balls, like Nigga said. <laughs> nice. that's, that, that, that's that. I just we, I just want to see y'all win. No joke, man. I Glizzies. like I like <laughs> I, I like seeing people win, and that's and that's that that's no that's no like fluff talk. I really do because I I don't like being around people that are not trying to do that. So. Uh, I hope that everybody on here always checks in and they feel some sort of, you know, uh, uh, they feel empowered to go do something for themselves because they're listening to this. So with that being said, man, hopefully next week is a little bit better and, you know, you're getting closer to whatever, you know, uh, 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 goal you have written down on your boards and everything like that. But, yo, take care. God bless. And, and you use this as a tool, man, and just get closer to that goal. All right. Straight up. Episode 14 is done.